Hey guys, it's Chris from Survive and Thrive. So I'm continuing my uh, navigation series as I'm out here today. Um, this one I'm going to be showing you basic compass orientation, um, how to shoot an azimuth, how to line up your compass for north, south, east, west, so you can orient your, yourself. So it's just going to be a real basic uh, compass video. So hang in there and we'll get right into it. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to shoot a basic azimuth which an azimuth is shooting, if you notice on the edge of this compass, you have degrees. They move all the way around in between each uh, direction. Now those directions are degrees in and of themselves. It's kind of common sense to follow the pattern. So um, they got little, just like a measuring tape, they got little dashes in between that represent different uh different degrees as well okay guys so now to shoot an azimuth it's very simple um, if this piece wasn't broken off uh, this line right here going up actually has an arrow uh, it's you'd like that on a lot of compasses that are designed like this but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick an azimuth or a degree on our compass of the direction we want to head in so I want to go to the six. Uh, we'll go. We'll just use 60 as an example right now. So what we're going to do is this thing rotates. We're going to rotate and line up that 60 on that top position to this line, just like this. Now to shoot that azimuth or find where that azimuth is, what we have to do now is we have to line that arrow up with the doghouse. So now that we have that lined up, we know that our bearing for 60 degrees, I know my hand's shaking because I'm holding it out, but our bearing for 60 degrees would be this direction right here. Our compass is pointing in the direction of that 60 degrees. Now just to give you another one, say let's do 120 degrees. That's our compass heading. So now I need to rotate to get that arrow in the doghouse try to hold it as level as I can all right so our 120 degrees is lined up right here our 120 degrees is this direction so I would walk that way for 120 degrees now using the 120 degrees we just shot as an azimuth to we're going to talk about shooting a reverse azimuth uh, this is for if you if you're hiking and you go 20 degrees for I don't know 200 meters well to get back you have to use your reverse azimuth so that would be if we went 120 degrees for 200 meters this way once we get to that point or we're at that point and we want to come back we need to use the reverse azimuth. So if you look, 120 is at the top, that puts 300 at the bottom. The one directly across um, from that degree is your reverse azimuth. So now, say, all right, so just to put that hypothetical situation, we just walked at the 120 degree thing for 200 meters that way. Now we wanted to come back to this exact same spot. So we know we gotta travel 200 meters, but now we need to get the reverse azimuth, which would be 300 degrees. So we're going to put 300 at the top of our compass. And then we're going to line up and get our arrow in the doghouse. Which we just walked this way for 120 degrees. So we're going to walk back this way for 300 degrees for 200 meters. And then it's going to get us right back to where we started. Okay guys, so now I'm testing out my handy dandy chest mount that I just got, or I just like went out and bought. Um, I figured I'd use this for some fun little things, and this seems to be able to work out perfectly for showing you guys compass orientation. So now I'm just going to show you like a, from my point of view, um, just how to shoot this. Maybe this will help, and we're going to actually move in that direction. Um, I'm sorry I've tested the chest mount a little bit. 
And I know when I walk, it's going to be a little nauseating. You're going to get the bounce like you're probably seeing right now because I'm wiggling. But uh, anyway, so, so, okay, the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to go over again, lining up our thing, getting it in the doghouse. So now we want to get our basic north bearing. You don't have to do this every time you shoot an azimuth or anything like that, but it can give you a basic north, south, east, west direction. So we're going to line up north or any direction we want with that top line. I'm just going to twist so the arrow gets out of the way. So it's not perfect, but there we go. So we got our north line lined up with this little line in between the uh, compass and the magnifying glass. So now what we're going to do is we're going to orient our body to move to get that arrow in those lines. Just like that. So this is our north direction this way that the compass is pointing so we're going to shoot the azimuth of 60 degrees I'm going to redo this one All right so 60 degrees we line up the 60 with the top and then we're going to rotate our bodies with the compass keeping it flat to line up the arrow in the doghouse so once we have the arrow in the doghouse we know that our compass and the way we're looking is 60 degrees. Now when you do this, what you want to do is, hold on, I'm going to adjust the camera, is you want to pick an object out in front. So just for this uh, exercise, I'm going to pick, I don't know if you can see it with the pine tree in the way, there's a stump, literally like 20 feet in front of me. So what we're going to do is, that stump is right in my 60 degrees so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk to that stump All right, so we shot our basic 60 degrees. Now the next thing we're gonna do is 60 degrees. So let's try 80, okay? So I have to keep adjusting this. All right, so this is our 60 degree. I just rotated it because we're gonna follow the 80 azimuth. We're going to shoot in 80, 80 degrees for our azimuth. So now I need to line up from this point. I'm going to get in front of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the, do the arrow in the doghouse. So my 80 degrees azimuth is this direction. Now we're going to, whoops. This is a pain to keep adjusting. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick an object. So, directly in our line is this tree right here. This oak tree. This big tree. That is our 80 degree azimuth. So, we shot our point. That is our point. So, now we don't have to walk with our compass up because we know that is 80 degrees and that's our next point. Now, before I walk over there, something to keep in mind is that uh, when you shoot azimuths, you don't have to shoot an object that's 10 feet in front of you. You can shoot it. Depending on your line of sight, you can shoot your azimuth for like 200 meters if you're looking across a field or anything like that. But just make sure you pick an object that lines up right with your degree line. That way, you don't have to walk with the compass up and readjust every five seconds. And then... Uh, it allows you to put your compass away and just kind of walk in that direction. It's a little faster, um, cover ground a lot easier. All right, so we're going to walk to our object. I'm trying to make it so this doesn't bounce as much for you guys. All right, so we've made it this... We're going to pretend this is our campsite, our destination. So as I adjust this back down, 
All right, so starting with my back to the tree, we just shot 80, so we want to go back. Now to go back to that stump we were just at, um, we have to shoot a reverse azimuth. So the reverse of 80, if you look directly across the compass, is 290. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up. Oh, I read that upside down, huh? The reverse azimuth is actually 260, not 290. Sorry. Sorry for my dyslexia. Um, so we're going to turn that around. I don't really have dyslexia. Uh, line up the 260 for our top read. That's where our azimuth we want to shoot is. So now we're just going to line the dog, uh, the arrow in the doghouse. Shoot our 260 degree. Which... is our stump at the top of that hill. So now we're just gonna walk over to that stump. Now if you were doing real orientation, you'd be doing pace counting in between. Um, or if you're doing a compass course type thing, they'd give you the pace count in them. So, now we shot a 60 degree azimuth to get to this point at our stump. So, now I'm going to get on the other side of the stump where my object and have it up to my back. And now, so we originally shot a 60. So the reverse of 60 is 240. So now we're just going to orient the compass to 240 and line it back up. Just like that. And we're going to pick an object. I'm going to pick my tripod. And if you see the tripod right here, that's our next target. We're just going to walk to it. guys so that is how to basically use a compass um, that's just basic orientation lining up your north south east west and how to shoot an azimuth and a reverse azimuth now something to keep in mind I'll just reiterate if you're using a if you're using a compass to orient through a new area that you've never been to before and you're going to be using it to get in and out you want to bring a pen and paper with you or a pencil and paper i prefer a pencil in the woods because you can sharpen it with a knife pen breaks you're kind of screwed but anyway um you can write down the degree you headed in and how many paces you went in that direction for your next object and then you can put under that the next degree and so forth so when you come back when you have to go back you can shoot your reverse azimuths of every degree you've put and walk the same pace count you have on there and it will get you to the same or generally the same spots so you can find your way back out. Um, that's how you use a compass to orient and navigate yourself. Okay guys, the last thing I wanted to explain is the technique I was using when I was shooting those azimuths. It's called leapfrogging. So what I did is I shot my 60 degree azimuth um, and pointed or got an object that was the furthest thing in my sight for that demonstration, I only did like 20 feet, so I'm not walking like three days to explain compass use to you, but I shot an azimuth to an object in sight that lines up with my, my azimuth degree, which was 60, to that stump. So I walked to that stump. Then what I did is I got on the other side of that stump, or the object, it could be a tree, it could be a rock, whatever you're using. You want to get on the other side of it so your back is to the object you just shot that azimuth to. Then, once you're at that object, what you're going to do is, if you want to continue moving 60 degrees, you're going to reorient your compass to make sure it's pointing 60 degrees still, and you're still looking at 60 degrees. Then, you're going to select your next object in line with your azimuth, and that's going to be your next object, and you're going to repeat that process. Now, we changed azimuth directions, which is perfectly fine. 
and it's still considered leapfrogging. So we shot an azimuth to that object, and then we got to that object, and now we want to move a, we did 80 degrees. Once we get to that object, the tree, rock, whatever it is, we're gonna do the same thing there too. We're gonna put the object to our back and reorient our compass to the degrees we want to travel in. Um, it's a very basic way to use a compass. It's a very easy way. It's a very efficient way to use a compass, in my opinion. Uh, it's how I was taught originally to use one, and that's what I still do. Okay, today. guys, so that was how to use a compass, the basic basics of using a compass, um, how to orient your compass to get your north, south, east, west bearing, and how to shoot an azimuth, and how to shoot a reverse azimuth. Um, those three basic things right there, you can basically use a compass to navigate yourself through an area. Um, I'm going to be showing other videos of orienting your compass with a map um, it's a little more intricate it's not difficult it's just a little different so I'm gonna show you how to do that later but this is uh, what this video was for was just basically using a compass in the field without a map just using your compass and just getting from A to B and being able to get back okay guys so I hope you enjoyed the video I uh, hope you learned something um, if you have any questions regarding compasses or how to use them or anything like that Feel free to message me. My email is in the description below. You can comment, you can PM me, all that fun stuff. And I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Other than that, thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for checking out my videos. Thanks for your support, subscribing, commenting, liking, all that fun stuff. And I hope to see you around.